Hey, so this is Super Zombie Gun Barbecue, and today, oh, today's a glorious day. It's not just glorious, it's glorious. We have got a brand new tier on the horizon. Yes, you are hearing it properly. You might have seen by looking at the chat. WrestleMania. Not just any WrestleMania, but we can see the return of WrestleMania tier. But it's not just any kind of WrestleMania tier, it's WrestleMania 33 tier. And we have some really, really good looking cards. And it's just one new tier as far as I'm aware. A new tier is coming tomorrow, Wednesday, the something of March. I think it's the 15th. Yeah, awesome. I don't know when it's coming. We've still got a day and four hours left of Road to Glory. I don't know what's going to happen, but we don't have it because we're just about to make the list. For the second time. Second time. There we go. And it's awesome we're going to make the list. But before we continue into the video, remember, and the chat's going to love this. Because we're going to barely edit this upload, okay? If you can leave a like on this video, and not just with anything, I need to leave a like with a pedigree. Because the first card that got revealed for the brand new tier in WWE Supercard is is going to be glorious amazing it is the game triple h finally and i cannot tell you how pleased i am why am i so pleased why am i so pleased let's go to legacy wrestlemania because this image is going to be used i love this image on triple h i cannot wait to get his i, I can't wait to get it I i'm so hyped for that but not only that we've had a james elsef cards release as well Mickey James, and we've had a brand new card. Now, this one a lot of people are really hyped for. Ken Shamrock. Ken freaking Shamrock. Old WWF legend. Uh, amazing that he's in the game. I don't know how that's happened, but good that he's in the game. And a lot of the rumors going around now is that the new event card may be a certain Olympic hero. They've not said anything about a new game mode, which I'm surprised about. Maybe they'll talk about it tomorrow. Maybe they'll announce it tomorrow. Who knows? All we know for right now is it's probably going to be ring domination. But who gives a damn? We need to get Jericho. We need to get ourselves on the list. I need to get myself another title. And we're going to go after, ooh, Joker, ooh. Now, in a change to regular programming, we are not going to go over RTG Roulette. Why? We're not going to go over RTG Roulette because there's no point. At this stage, I didn't know if the games were going to be easier because it's a flash road to glory. I... Uh, listen, all I'm going to say is it made no sense to do it right now. There was no spin to do. And last time I was doing... So I was killing the competition when I didn't have a spin. So I thought to leave it to a new tier and I'm going to treat you guys something to end ultimate tier. Because this is the end of ultimate tier. It is the end of Ultimate Tier. We're done. This is the last event of Ultimate Tier. There will be Ultimate Tier events, but no more event cards. The Jericho is the last name on the list. If the list was infinitely long, this would be the last name. So we're done. Let me know what you think about the brand new tier, WrestleMania 33 tier. As you're going to see, images pop up. When I saw the James Ellsworth card... I legitimately laughed my ass off. That card is freaking terrible. It's horrid. The stats are absolutely crazy. They're so bad, he gets free statted by Mickey James. Now, that's not necessarily a bad thing that he gets free statted by Mickey James, but I mean, considering Mickey James and the female cards have lower overall stats anyway, it's kind of stupid. It's kind of stupid. I also found out. That Brock Lesnar was a pro for me. And um, I might show you what happened to Brock Lesnar. Let's say he, he endured a silver ending. He doesn't actually make my deck anymore. Seth Rollins make my, makes my deck more than Brock Lesnar does. It's crazy. It was a pro, but it went straight into a silver pro. Me covered the, hey dad. Hello son. That Luke Gallows though... Uh, I have not seen any other cards that are available. All we do know is that there is... Uh, I think all the debut cards have been revealed. Ah, and AJ Styles. The phenomenal AJ Styles was revealed as a card as well, which is amazing. Uh, so, basically, there is going to be an AJ Styles. He's not one of the best in the tier this time, but his card image looks crazy. I can't wait to get that SummerSlam card on him. 
just uh, I think the card just just in general I, I love the image it's like fireworks kind of the background and they said that that's kind of like the theme is that fireworks with the WrestleMania background uh, I can't wait to see the pros of these things the comments if any of these cards are pro did you make the list did you get yourself Chris Jericho and a few people are getting their for, for, for the first time they're getting their first ultimate event card that is awesome very very happy with that that people um, are guessing their first event cards now uh, there's obviously gonna be a lot of questions in the chat about what happens tomorrow yes as I'm doing right now I will be streaming I will be streaming live on Twitch when the update goes live whenever it goes live I will be doing it not just that as well I will be doing a pack opening it, it's, it's gonna be asked in a chat so yes a pack opening will happen and I know people are gonna be hyped about that and it's gonna be the best pack opening ever I hope well for least hope for me it's gonna be the best pack opening ever because if it's not the best pack opening for me I, I might have to cry myself into my pillow I might have to drink my own salty tears pack hype is coming it is definitely definitely coming I hope I don't make the list by doing the pack hype though so here we go. Goldberg just took him out, but we're still going to win. That Bailey's going to do nothing. Apollo lose. <laughs> that Apollo lose. Rip JB money. Yeah, maybe. Maybe. Okay, so here we go. Uh, is this guy called Brad? I'm not sure. In before Elves of Pro. It's going to happen. I mean, I won't really want to get the Triple H card. I really want to get the Triple H card. Let's move on to the last card. Let me know what cards you want. If you could have any card in WrestleMania tier... Two resets in a row there. Nice. Uh, then let us know in the comment section. So here we go. Last card. The last game I will play in Ultimate Tier is coming. I went an entire King of the Ring season for the entirety of Elite Harden and Ultimate Tier unbeaten. It's been a glorious tier, but it is time to put Ultimate Tier to bed. Time to say goodnight to it one last time. Ultimate tier, you just made the list. Let's do this. Some people are saying they want Baz Corbs. I hope Baron Corbin's a really good card in this. I really do hope he's a good card in this. Uh, Kurt Angle, I'll see Kurt Angle event card. Love to see Kurt Angle event card. AJ Styles versus Shane McMahon. What do you think of that match? Been teased very heavily. Um, I've got my own personal thoughts. Uh, I think it's a bit of a waste of AJ, but. AJ Styles, in fact, I, I, want, I said it mistakenly uh, said uh, last night. AJ versus Styles. Classic WrestleMania match. AJ versus Styles. It's still going to be a great match. AJ Styles could have a good match with a piece of wood. Or, or a, 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 a mop. He could have a better match with a mop than Perry Saturn. If you get that reference, you're amazing. Here we go. So, toughest and speed. <laughs> still getting the chat. AJ versus Styles. Can't wait. Uh, here we go. We are getting towards the end. There's our Chris Jericho. My first Chris Jericho is trained up. I'm hoping for a ring domination for the first event because I can try out the second Chris Jericho and use him in King of the Rings. Uh, small little notice. Uh, I know they didn't do this last time. If you've got King of the Ring award, make sure you hold it over because if you've got it and you're, and you're waiting on it or it's going to come through, my advice, my advice is to hold it back because you'll probably end up getting double rewards. And here's the last one from the previous, the the previous penultimate event card, Jack Gallagher. There he is. Done. Ultimate tier is done. It's all good. Slay Day was my final opponent, Ultimate tier. We've just made the list. And we just crossed Ultimate tier off the list. Like Matt Hardy. Deleting. There's Chris Jericho. It is done. But we've got one last thing to do. One last thing to do. Now I did say the reason why I didn't do Road to Glory Roulette was because there was no point. I was I was going to get myself Chris Jericho regardless, and I didn't know with the difficulty was there. And in fairness, it was a good call because I, I literally, I literally got myself the Chris Jericho without barely losing any games. So it wouldn't have really been too much fun, okay? So I had a plan. I'm not Brian Kendrick, but I am a man of a plan. Okay, 
Let's go lock in his card now. Let's go to combinables. Let's go. Where is he? Combinables, Chris Jericho. Perfect. Okay. Uh, I forgot to show you Brock. Brock is over here. Ultimate tier is obsolete. You know it. Where is he? Oh, there he is. And if anyone knows the season one reference, I'll need to put it in the comment section. And like this video as hard as you can. So, one of the uh, one of the forfeits on Road to Glory is to speed up a fusion. Well, let's do it. Why not? Why wait? Possibility of a pro? Let's do it. My question is, is it going to be Fandango? Or am I going to get the tag team curse again? And am I going to get Tyler Breeze? Or am I going to get Lana? Let's do it. Claim rewards. It's going to be... This is Fandango. This is rigged. <laughs> it's a pro! It's a pro! Oh, shit! First ultimate pro fusion. Oh, baby! Oh, wow. What a call. What a call. Oh, shit. Fan Dan Pro. It's not Tyler, though. <laughs> I know that's what Dan's going to say. Oh, shit. Worth it. <laughs> Worth it. Oh, that's rigged as hell. The curse was broken. We didn't get Tyler Breeze. But we got an ultimate fusion pro. Oh my god. Wow. And what a way to end Ultimate Tier. Ladies and gentlemen, remember to leave a huge like on this video. Remember to hit it with a pedigree. Not just any kind of pedigree. The botched kind of Triple H pedigree. His first ever pedigree. Where he almost stuck Brits Tombstone pile drive at the person. Okay? That kind of pedigree. As hard as you can. Make sure you hit the subscription. Little widgets up just down here. Little subscription widget. Go check it out. I apologize for not editing this video, but I don't care. I just got Fandango Pro. I'm happy with that. Thanks so much for watching. Check the description below for details to Twitch, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, player.me. Follow and like all those, and I will see you guys in the stream tomorrow to open some packs. And welcome in WrestleMania 33 tier. And one last thing, and that is to Sonic!